Uh, we're starting with the insect repellent body oil. Okay. And um, the insect repellent is pre-blended. Uh, it has peppermint, pine, and it's on your card, so you don't have to write it down. Peppermint, pine, oh, like cypress, like and fennel. Um, all of which are uh, insect repellents, but um, peppermint and cypress also will heal the insect bite. So if you've already been bitten, um, if you've already been bitten, the peppermint and the cypress will take the itch out of it and um, help heal it uh, quicker. So step one is to use one, it says one half concentrate blend. What that actually means is um, filling half of the five milliliter tube up. So um, two and a half, 2.5 milliliters of the concentrate blend, the essential oil blend, um, you're going to put in your bottle. Um, I love these. If you um, don't have one of these, you should. <laughs> it makes life so much easier when you're trying to pour and, and uh, blend. Um, so sell those at the, apothecary. the apothecary shop does sell these. They can add this to their order form, right? Yeah. It's called um, pipette and pump. They're yeah. sold separately. <coughs> and it's a five milliliter pipette. Um, so uh, you're going to take your blend, I'm trying to keep everything from blowing. Um, And that's the blend that. of the flower oils? Yeah. Okay. The essential oils. And we were looking for the catnip to add catnip to it, mm -hmm. um, well, but I, we couldn't find it. So we can add it later if anyone wants to add it later. Um, but research has been done on catnip that shows that it actually works better than uh, DEET, which is a chemical and not um, as safe for us as catnip essential oil. So, all right, you've got your pipette, you've got your bottle. So we're just going to extract, pardon me? How much of each of those oils? You know, I'll have to get you the exact blend. Um, I'll get that for you. But, you know, you can play with it. Whenever I teach people blending, I'll give them formulas and I'll say, you know, this is how I like it, but you might like more peppermint and less cypress or more fennel and less. So you can play with the oils, but um, basically you want to use um, a one to 2% concentration which is going to be about 8 to 12 drops of essential oil per, per ounce of vegetable oil. So Say you can again, I'm sorry. Eight, to t 8 to 12 drops of essential oil per ounce of vegetable oil, of carrier oil. So you can play with the drops, the amounts of the oils um, within that ratio. And that's, and how many, what percent is that again? That's a one to two percent. That's a one to okay. Yeah. Okay, so this nifty little thing, we just put it in the bottle, and then we draw out 2.5, which, where's the 2.5 line? Okay, right about there. Yep, that's, that's good. Yes. Um, yes. Five milliliters like a teaspoon. Why not use just like citronella oil? Is you could. Is reason why you didn't choose citronella? I don't particularly like the smell of citronella. Yeah. If I was going yeah. to go with those chemicals, I would actually choose lemongrass okay. as my personal preference, but we could have used citronella. <laughs> yeah, the nice thing about aromatherapy is you have so many choices. I mean, so many oils do so many of the same things that if you don't like the scent of one, you have lots of other choices. So this so. is a blend of, of all those oils already? Yes, on the, the four oils, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to add it to my bottle. Um, and the almond oils on the other side. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come around there and try and not block the camera. Do you want help with that Do you want me to just bring the oil to you? No, um, we'll do it from over there. It'll be easier. Okay, so then you want to fill your 50 milliliter bottle with the carrier oil. So I'm going to sneak over there. And we're just going to um, decant it from the box. That'll work. Um, in general, uh, if you have a bottle or something, um, 
you can use a funnel or you can use the graduated cylinder um, to pour it in that way. In fact, I'll do it that way just so it doesn't spill. And what kind of vegetable oil are you using? We're using sweet almond. And what do you think about um, like an extra well, virgin olive oil? Boy. Would the tannins be a bit much? No, you could certainly here. use that. Yeah, you could certainly use extra virgin mm -hmm. olive oil, sweet almond, what about any. Sunflower oil? safflower oil, yeah, any vegetable oil. Um, you also want to consider it's going to have therapeutic properties for the skin. Um, you could use a calendula infused oil even yeah. to help if you already have insect bites to heal them. Yeah. Okay, so trying not to make a mess. Okay, that was 50 mil. Okay, and this is a, a body oil, so you can just shake it up and um, just apply it just as you would uh, any body oil. And no mosquitoes. Voila! Okay, so why don't everyone go ahead and do that and then we'll do the spray separate. Oh, I want to Oh, sure. Yeah, no, no, no. I'll take this. Okay. Me too. I'll take one of yours. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I'll take one of yours. Right here. Here's my own right now. Thank you.